So this package has just been released. Uh, it's a it's called Laravel, Laravel Web Sockets, and it's basically a replacement for Pusher. So built-in PHP. So that's nice. Um, I wanted to play around with it, so I decided, hey, why not just record? Um, so yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So I have this application here called Slackish. Uh, it's a Slack clone, but yeah, simpler, S smaller, I would say. Uh, it's not a replacement for, for, for Slackish, it's just a playground. Um, yeah, so this application uses Docker Compose locally and yeah, let's, let's see it running. So it uses pusher. Um, don't worry about this. I, I can delete. I'm going to delete this playground uh, application as soon as we are finished recording. So yeah, it's up. Uh, I can refresh it here. And okay. So this is the homepage, and I can authenticate with Google. Things are slow, things are slow, things are slow. What's going on? I can authenticate with Google. Yes, okay, I can. Oh, this slowness might be my VPN. Well, whatever. Um. So don't worry, it's a bit slow indeed here. Uh, it's because I'm connected to the VPN and that slows my connection a bit down. So I'm not going to disconnect it now. So just hang on. Um, so yeah, it's using Pusher. As you can see here, it connects to Pusher. It's one of the Pusher, Pusher servers. Um, things are okay. Um, the message will show up here soon. It's using Horizon behind the scenes. Um, yeah, so this is the approach that I'm using. It's uh, in the Docker Compose, as I said, it it has the as the application service and the worker service, which both share the same application image. Um, this approach is described in this in this article on, on Laravel News, which is awesome. I've been using so far and it's great um, but yeah <laughs> let's replace pusher with uh, this awesome new package let's start installation and I'm going to copy not here here I'm going to compose and require it It might take a while, so just hang on. Damn, it's slow. I should have disconnected before I started recording, but yeah, whatever. I'm gonna copy this to smoothie things out a bit. So this is the migration for the statistics. Um, Um, before we, why it does this composer require thing? Um, as I'm going to use Docker anyways, um, so I thought we could just uh, copy the the approach that we are doing for Horizon and uh, build a new service here. Where I'm going to 
run the WebSockets server. And yeah, it doesn't need to grab this. And the row is going to be WebSockets. And that's also the service name. This row is not implemented yet, so I'm going to implement it real quick. So yeah, I have to copy this and add a new row here, WebSockets. And what is the command to run it? It's in the introduction. Okay. Port. Yeah, okay. So this is the command actually because I'm going to override the host. So this is the WebSockets running the Laravel WebSockets. Um, it's going to run this and I'm going to use the broadcasting thing. Okay. So I think we are done here with this uh, the Docker setup. But before I start the service, I have to actually finish installing. So uh, yeah, it's done installing Composer. Um, so let's move on to the next steps, which are publishing the migration. And I have to migrate, but uh, I'll do that after the configuration publishing. So now I have to migrate, and as I said, I'm using Docker. So uh, this is an alias for Docker Compose. Migrate. Okay, great, great, great. Cool, 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 cool. So now the configuration. This was published, I think. Okay, so I have a WebSockets file here. And I don't have to change it because it should just work as a pusher replacement. Yeah, maybe jump into this section. I already have this, I think, because I'm, I'm actually using Pusher. So yeah, this is here already. So I don't have to do this, it's already done. Um, this is, I have to change things a bit because I have to specify where the Pusher server is. So if I go to broadcasting, I see the Pusher connection and I can actually specify whether where is the pusher server, which is I'm, as I'm using Docker, I have to specify the service name here, WebSockets, which should be the same service name as I placed here. So yeah, the port is this one, everything else is okay. And yeah, it's using HTTP, not, uh, not HTTPS. So let's move on to the next thing. So we have to configure the, the uh, no, it's, this is something else. So for the client, okay. So this is where the magic happens. <laughs> um, so yeah, okay. I think I need to go here and bootstrap and then paste it. And I think that's it. I have to recompile the assets. And if I've done everything correctly, uh, I can just recompile the assets. And and then I can start Docker Compose up. So it starts the WebSocket server. But before we, we as we changed, uh, our configuration here. I have to restart the worker because otherwise that configuration is not uh, going to take place. So yeah, let's restart the worker. And hopefully that's it, I think. Okay, so I have everything running. Yeah, there's, there's a gotcha here. See down web sockets. Yeah, okay. So I actually need to specify the port as well here. So sorry about that. 
Uh, the default port is 6001 and I'm going to use that same port here. So if we start it again, now it should, yeah, it's forwarding my port, so everything should be okay. So yeah, hopefully, let's see. It's still, maybe if I log out. And log in again. Because it was still using pressure for some reason. Okay, okay. So it's actually connecting to my local host. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, so this is actually using uh, the package right now. So if I send a message, you should see AI, yeah, it works, it works. Nice, they have a dashboard. Yeah, dashboard. So if I go to slash Laravel web sockets. Um, so if I let me open up this new tab uh, Laravel web sockets and yeah if I connect to the server uh, yeah I can see things are working. So if I send a message here testing I should see a new message there. Yes nice okay Sounds good, sounds good. So yeah, that was it, basically. It wasn't that hard to do. It wasn't hard at all, actually. Nice, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, so just to prove that it's not using pusher for every, if for whatever reason you don't trust me, I'm going to change the credentials here. Um, so yeah, if this was using pressure, it was going to fail and I have to restart the worker and the web sockets because I've changed the credential. So if I refresh, Okay, um, testing, and it should just work as expected. Um, let me see here. Okay. Yeah, see the pressure key. That's what I wanted to show. It's it's using the one two three one two three demo one, and it's not actually using this anymore. So it's using the replacement, and that was it. So yeah, hope you hope you liked it.